Um, so I thought what made me start the business is a long story, but I'm going to cut it very, very short. Um, about 10 years before I started the business, which was in 2009, um, I used to see people making crepes with these long, long queues of fairs and fates and festivals. And do you know what I always loved? I love seeing people's smiling faces in anticipation of being served, coming away with their delicious crepes in the evening. They used to smell so beautiful. What I also loved was seeing people use this tizzly stick, as I used to call it, spinning and making these delicious crepes. So that's what really enticed me 10 years later to start my own business. I was just drawn by seeing customers' smiling faces and seeing a business with long queues in it. And that's why I started the business. When did your business start? That's a very good question, and I'm not quite sure how to answer that one because I don't want to seem as if I'm, uh, you know, bigging myself up or the business up. Um, but I would say we opened in um, 2009, um, and I would say by the end of 2010, we were, I, I realised we were becoming a very, very popular uh, phenomenon in Cambridge. And uh, so yeah, I'd say about a year, year and a bit. Very, very lucky. Very, very lucky. Oh, most definitely. I think being in the heart of Cambridge, this beautiful city of ours, as you can see, looking around you, it's full of people, it's full of students, tourists from all over the world. Um, and it's a, just a phenomenal spot. Everyone comes past us. We're at a really beautiful location. So being in the centre of Cambridge, 100% uh, has uh, helped Cambridge Crash become the business, the business it is today. Definitely. Does it start to feel That's a really, really good question. We get asked this all the time. We have sometimes up to six staff working in the trailer. Um, and I, it's funny, do you know something? You get used to it. Um, when you work with just two or three, sometimes you can feel more quiet than working with six people. I don't understand the logic there at all. But we've all got a station to work on, we've all got a process, and um, do you know what, if we stick to that, it works out really, really well. We've all got the little areas to work in, um, and because we all get on so well and have so much fun together, whether it be three, four, five, or six of us, do you know what, it seems like the TARDIS from Doctor Who, plenty of space, even though it doesn't look it. Would you say that you're quite well known in the yeah, we do. In fact, this has really shocked me. It makes me feel quite humble, to be honest with you. When I first started the business in 2009, I didn't dream in my wildest of dreams of have people coming back to see us from as far as far afield as they do. Um, I'm not saying they come back just purely to see a Cambridge script, but when they come back to the UK from Brazil, Italy, France, Spain, America, Africa, all over the world, if they're coming near Cambridge, to London, let's say, They'll nearly always make that time to come to Cambridge where they used to come uh, and come back and see the famous Cambridge crepes as they call us. So, uh, yeah, I, it shocks me and really makes me feel quite humble. But, yeah, I'm very proud of that. And, uh, as I said, for a tiny little micro company like us, um, it's, it's a great feeling knowing that they're coming back from so far to see a tiny little company like us. Do you know what, when it's uh, torrential rain, torrent, uh, uh, it's three foot of snow, it's fallen during the day, sometimes we might close a, bit, a little bit early because there's no one on the streets. It can be almost like a ghost town, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, there are occasions where we have closed a few minutes or maybe half an hour, even an hour earlier, because of torrential rain, the streets are flooded. Not very often, I have to say, in Cambridge, we're quite lucky. Uh, but when that occurs, which isn't very often, we have been known to close a little bit earlier um, because there's literally no one on the streets. Have you ever considered creating multiple prep shops and expanding Yes, we have. And we decided very consciously from a very early stage that we wouldn't expand. Um, we never say never, but for the last eight years that we've been asked to go all over the world, America, uh, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, uh, India, and the list goes on, we've been uh, flown across to different countries. But when we come back, one thing that's really uh, been important to us is keeping keep that wonderful service and that name that sort of at the moment really precedes us, to be honest with you. Um, uh, and the only way that I've felt that uh, was best to keep the wonderful Cambridge Crepes name is just to keep one trailer, 
one phenomenal group of one phenomenal team. So we didn't spread ourselves too thinly uh, around the world, if you like, and uh, we kept the, the, the fame uh, in one spot in Cambridge. And I think, to be honest with you, that's where we'll always uh, carry on uh, uh, being just in Cambridge, uh, which is where I like it. This is what I call home. So yes, we have explored it, we have thought about it, but we've decided to stay in Cambridge only. What do you do with any Because we're making up a bat of fresh every morning. Uh, if there's anything left, and there normally isn't, we normally start out every single day, we have to throw it away, which is a real waste, isn't it? And I'm sure you wouldn't mind me uh, making a few previous views at the end of the day, would you? Hey, uh, can we have one Nutella and biscuit? Yeah, of course. That's something I get past all the time as well. Um, I don't just work the hours I work here. There's lots of prep to do, chopping and dicing and all the food that we have during the day for all and bacon and so on. Um, I normally work about 55 to 60 hours a week uh, on here, maybe about 35, 40 hours a week, not that many. Um, but do you know something? I enjoy it so much. It's not like work, it's pure fun and serving our wonderful customers. Come on, uh, who could call that work? And we get to have free preps all day long to eat. So. Do you ever cancel or close for any specific reason? Yeah, we'll, we'll close uh, occasionally. Uh, we might close for a big event. We do lots of uh, um, uh, weddings, private parties. Uh, we also occasionally do the Mabels during the uh, Mabel period in Cambridge. We also do a lot of uh, private celebrity events. So if that um, happens to come inside with when we should be in the town, we might opt to not uh, open up in town because we'll be doing that event, event instead. But uh, I'll be honest with you, I do like to try and be here for our customers because they're our loyal customers who've been uh, looking after us and made the company that it has over the last eight years. So wherever we can, we're in town 300 odd days a year and that's where we like to be. Do you ever award? Oh, yes, we do. Um, it's something that uh, I'm glad you asked me that question. When we first started the business in 2009, I wanted a loyalty card, which I think most people are into nowadays. Um, and I wanted the best one in Cambridge. So, what I did, I went to all of the shops that I knew did loyalty cards, and I saw that most people offered either the 10th or the 11th or the 12th or the 9th free. The 9th one free, should I say. Um, at Cape Scripps, you buy six, you get the seventh one free. So, to my knowledge, and I don't know any different unless you can tell me, we have the best loyalty card for rewarding returning customers in the whole of Cambridge, and I'm really proud of that. Have you ever thought about things to do with leftover Yes, we have. Um, do you know what? If we had uh, a company that could take up mix from us, uh, maybe a charity that could take the mix away and spin it for uh, maybe the homeless or you know, people who are in need of, need of food, uh, we'd be very happy to do that. Very hard being a mixture um, to find people who maybe can, can do the spinning bit and create delicious crepes with it. But it's certainly something we would do uh, if the right organisation approached us. Uh, charity, for example. That's what I got told. That's what I got told. And I was like, does Yes, we have. One of the charities that's very close to our heart is Cancer Research. And when they have Race for Life, um, uh, which they have in Cambridge uh, once a year, uh, we have some collection boxes which we raise money for. And we also make a private donation a company to the charity uh, each year as well. So it's very, very close to our heart uh, raising money for that uh, particular charity. Do you have any fond memories with the Cambridge Prep Band? So many. Where do I begin with that one? Um, you know, I think some of the best memories of being with the customers. We've had customers from all over the world, as I said. And some of the groups that have visited us come from America, Brazil. And before they go home, the one thing they have to do, whether there's 20, 30 or 50 in the group, is have a team photograph. So we normally get all of the staff from the other side of the counter, come round the front of the trailer um, and have a team photograph. And that, that brings back some, so many memories to me because they've had so many wonderful groups. And uh, you actually get, do get very attached to them. Uh, some great characters in some of these groups. Not everyone, but uh, some great characters within some of these groups. And um, you know, when they go home, it's sad for us and sad for them. So having some team photographs, I think, are some of the best uh, moments that I can remember. Are there any negatives to that? None that I can really think of. It's hard work, but I don't think that's a negative. 
uh, it'll be long hours. I don't think that's negative. I like to work hard. Um, I can't think of any negatives. It's all positives for me. Um, the only thing that might spring to mind is when it's freezing cold. We work outside, as you can see, when it's freezing cold with a bit of wind. It's minus 10 with the wind, the wind chill factor. It can get a bit chilly in there behind the counter. Um, so that aside, oh, and when it's 110 degrees in the summer, it can be, be a bit roasty in the, in the trailer there. But apart from those two extremes, no negatives. Oh, savoury, there's so many. Oh, the savoury side, chicken, cheese, sweet corn, brie, chicken and cranberry, um, egg, cheese, bacon and mushroom is a great uh, breakfast I definitely love that. Uh, on the sweet side, there's so many again. Anything with chocolate. It's got chocolate in it. Customers love it. Nutella, coconut, Nutella banana biscuits, a big favourite. Strawberry banana Nutella has to be one of the all-time summer favourites. Um, and those are really, really chocolatey. Um, we'll go for a double or a triple Nutella. Oh, you're very, very welcome. Thank you very much for uh, coming to see us today. Thank you.